Do you struggle with the one-handed bottom palm? If so, my one tip and some subtleties can definitely make this so much easier to master. If anything, you can probably do it by the end of this video. Stay tuned to watch. How's it going guys? My name is James Pena and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the one-handed bottom palm. Sounds extremely difficult, but I promise you it is so easy once you learn this. If you haven't watched my previous video on palming, you should definitely check that out first just so you can get some tips and subtleties and presentational ideas on how to do the palm. Before I talk too much, let's get straight to the video and good luck. Before we start with today's video, we're going to go over the principles. So to do the palm, it's only two points of contact, pinky and the base of the thumb. And it should look something like this. These three fingers are relaxed. We're not really doing much. It's these two points doing all the work. So just make sure they're relaxed on here. I understand a lot of people have the memory to palm in their right hand because that is what a lot of people are used to. But you need to learn how to do it with the left hand if you want to do the bottom palm. First, we're going to learn how to do it with two cards just because it's a little simpler and it'll make the full deck one-handed bottom palm a lot easier. So to start it, let's say you have like the, the, the king and you do, I don't know, the Bertram change that I just taught and you want to get rid of that king, all you would do is you'd hold it like this. It is very crucial that this is at the base of the thumb as if you were about to palm. So it should, it should not move. So just like this. I like to put two fingers up here. So now that it's like this, you want to push this up. Right? And you see how the pinky curls? It's, it's happening at the same time. Watch. See how they both move? If you know how to do treading, it's, uh, it's pretty much that. Uh, treading is a palmy exercise, for those who don't know. It's just something you kind of do on the go. Uh, it's not mine to teach, but if you get Dan and Dave's If an Octopus Could Palm, it would be like that. Uh, I believe they're sold out though, so um, good luck if you get it. But pretty much, you are kicking it like this, and you're holding it. And then with the ring finger, you're pushing it down and moving this pinky over here so it's into palm. So now you can hand this out to whoever and you've successfully palmed the bottom card. Just a quick overview. Remember, principles of palming. Don't forget your basics. Make sure you're, you move it so it's right here. You are going to kick this up and I like to do it in the action of just pointing right as i'm pointing that's usually what i do so now that you have it here you want this ring finger to come down that way the pinky can move a lot easier all right and now you can hand this off or put it on the table or whatever it is that you want to do now that you understand how to do it with two cards uh, we're going to move on with the whole deck so here's my subtlety. Once you've controlled a card to the bottom, um, I like to spread here and just show that I've, I don't know, lost it in the middle of the deck. And then I just go all the way to the bottom and just get that break. If you want to be more advanced, I guess, you can buckle it. If you don't want to buckle, you can do a pinky pull down and get that break but I just like spreading and showing that they're, I don't know, that the card is lost. Not really over proving, it's just something that I do. Now, once you have that selection down to the bottom, what you wanna do is basically you're going to, you're doing it like this, right? Like this, but I'm gonna show it to you like this just so you can see. You're basically going to kick the whole deck left so it creates this lip your index finger on your left hand is going to touch that corner. It's not touching this card. This card's free. All right. Very crucial that it's in the base of the thumb, right? That's where the whole deck is sitting. 
So just like this. And now you're gonna do those same motions that you learned in the two card palm. Kick, press, grab. And now you've successfully palmed the bottom card. One more time, I'll use, I'll use the eight, I'll just put it on the bottom. So you spread, you got their card, you're going to kick, and you're gonna place your index finger right there. Then you're going to move your pinky forward. You're going to grab it with your ring finger. Then your pinky is gonna come all the way around and palm it. Now, my card is sticking out because I didn't put it there, right? And that's what happens if you don't. So make sure that when you're doing this palm, it's where that muscle memory should be. So you can't palm it. All right. Now that's a whole ton better. That's it for what I have for today's video. Hopefully you learned the one-handed bottom palm. Hopefully it's easy to do. If it wasn't easy for you to do, uh, write it down in the comments below of how I can make this better. I don't know everything. This is just the tips and subtleties that got me through my career as a magician. Also, now that you've watched this video, make sure you watch my previous video on palming. Uh, it's got some good presentational ideas on how to do different types of uh, palms. Uh, I think the top palm is on there and the gambler's cop and my version of the gambler's cop, which I believe is uh, useful if you use it correctly. Uh, stay tuned for next week. I'm going to be posting uh, my version of a transposition that I feel like you guys would enjoy with actually everything that we've been learning these past few videos and we'll be putting them to use. So please consider liking, please consider subscribing. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'm posting every Friday around 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. So besides that, peace.